I totally agree with the words and the tributes that you've paid, uh, made earlier towards uh, Councillor Douglas, um, and agree with Tim. I mean, uh, I think that, you know, he's been a great community um, person from humble beginnings. Uh, uh, he came to this country when he was 14, as his father was uh, fleeing persecution, and his story resonates with a lot of the uh, families, many of the families who have chosen to come to our country, either through choice or through, uh, like he was, his father was uh, fleeing persecution. Uh, he said that they lived in a room of four, uh, bullied at school because he didn't speak any English. That resonates with a lot of uh, families that are coming here. Um, but, I mean, despite all of that, he uh, worked very, very hard. Ten years later, he was, uh, you know, was working as a waiter, then he owns his own restaurant. Um, he, he runs a community centre for Turkish studies and for uh, the Centre for Kurdish Progress. So uh, he does an awful lot to, uh, as he says on his website, you know, to, to, to bring a, uh, divided communities together. But uh, well, I'm really struck by his humble beginnings and his humility uh, and the fact that he looks out for the most vulnerable. And of course, uh, that's a situation that we um, um, are currently in. What is perhaps the only good thing to come out of this is that we start to value some of the most vulnerable people in our society who have maybe been overlooked or taken for granted because either they work in the love economy where they're on benefits, but you know they, they hopefully now we are beginning to value uh, some of the most vulnerable people in our society and and I'll never forget when he says that he uh, you know he, he says on his website that he, he uh, he'll never forget this country it saved his dad's life and gave us a home it housed us educated us and cared for us when we were sick um, now like him uh, we have seen that not only just over the past decade but I would say some of the uh, play, the, the policies that were in place uh, when uh, the mayor came to this country, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of the erosion of that openness, that compassionateness, um, and certainly uh, the Windrush generation experienced that with a hostile environment and, uh, you know, shame on what, what has happened um, in this country recently in turning its back on refugees. Um, and people that are, have come here and have, have been the lifeblood of this city. Um, to discuss the two charities that um, uh, Councillor Doga supported, Lambeth Welcome Refugees, um, you know, some of the money that was raised will go towards helping even more of the families, like the 20 Syrian families that uh, Lambeth welcomed in 2016, uh, who were stuck in appalling uh, you know, hopefully more families that are now stuck in appalling and extremely dangerous conditions in camps in Calais or in the Greek islands uh, who are fleeing one trauma uh, to end up in another. And then suddenly, you know, they're now in this ridiculous situation where, you know, they, um, they cannot have social distancing. But uh, hopefully that money will go towards helping more uh, uh, Time, if you could refugees' have. families. Sorry, um, yeah. Just to also mention, the Migration Museum was was the other charity. Um, I mean, Councillor Douglas and I both know that migration is the lifeblood of the city. It's what makes us the most diverse, culturally rich, vibrant, and integrated cities on earth. Uh, Lambeth, we are the epicenter of that, and we know that being a Londoner is not a question of where you were born, the language you speak, your religion, the colour of your skin, or who you love. It's about being open-minded, sharing in our common humanity, and remaining united in our diversity. And uh, you know, as someone who paid tribute to the NHS, uh, I just want to give a final commitment to him and say that all of the Green Group will be supporting um, his Change.org petition to give. Uh, unconditional citizenship to all of the non-British NHS workers that are in the front lines fighting this crisis. Thank you.